Hi guys, welcome to this short video about how we can measure cable resistance, I mean USB cable resistance with the FNI or SI FNB58. The reason why I make this video is that one of my viewers has been asking for that and I thought yeah, okay should be very easy to find some information about that but it was not super easy and the things which I have found were not very clear but I have also found the instructions manual or the part of the instructions manual which describes the thing so I'm going to show that now for you here so you can read that but for me when I was reading that the first time it was a little bit difficult to understand so maybe it's really not too easy so let's start here so what we need is two power supplies here i have power bank here i have normal power brick then of course the fnb 58 and then a constant load so here i have set it to 0.51 amps it should be somewhere between 0.5 and 1 amps constantly so it shouldn't change. So you can't use like a phone or so because that's always changing. You need like a tester or something you create manually. But something like that could be very helpful. That costs only around $15 or so. And so I'm using USB-A to micro USB. Micro USB, that's the only way to have the power supply for this device. I don't know if it's possible without, but the problem is you have to do two measurements and when you unplug, then the device will probably even reset, forget the numbers, or it will be at least difficult. The FNB58 will complain then when you just unplug it in between of these two measurements. So it's highly recommended to use this power supply here. Then we are using this toggle here, move to the left side until we see this menu applications then we push down and go to the right side once two times till we see a toolbox we push down and then we have cable resistance detection we have two possibilities we can measure USB A to C and USB A to micro USB so we can use these two inputs here the USB C and the micro USB so I'm going with USB A to USB C first to activate that of course we have to push down again and so it's showing null and now we have to calibrate that and so we have to start with the load because you can see it has zero load basically because it's just powering this device and there is no load on it so i have to make sure that this is really working so i start this here now it's really using 0.51 amps we have confirmation here we can push down and we get the calibration yeah we have to push down again it's a little bit difficult maybe do that a couple of times so it's really on zero we can see that here it's at zero or or at least very very close i mean it really doesn't matter if it's a, a zero or one or a two so that was the first measurement now we have to unplug this device here and replace the connection which of course had zero resistance with a normal usb a cable so here in this case i'm using usb a to usb c here plug it in but now of course the load has stopped because there was no power anymore and so i have to restart it again so i push this button here and you can see it's showing the resistance now from here to here which is this cable and it's saying 138 or yeah, a little bit above 135 something like that in this area it's not a perfect cable but it's also not really bad i have actually made good experience with that but let's compare it to another cable now i have a usb a to micro usb let's see how this works so i plug it in down here and of course i have to restart the load again and we can see it has super high resistance yeah this is a cheap old cable more than 400 milli ohms that's quite high definitely not something really good so it looks like these two things at least work now let's try USB-C to USB-C. I wonder if that would also work. I mean, it's not described. So we remove this cable here. That's a 240 watts cable. Plug it in here and goes into USB-C and start the load again. Yeah, it definitely doesn't say anything. You can see that here. 
even though we have confirmed load here it's not showing anything so definitely only works usb a to usb c like this one and usb a to micro usb like this one yeah so i would say that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or other opinions or uh, you see other solutions for that then just let me know down in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time